in November as the first cold wave reaches King High Lake. The temperature drops below zero. The lake begins to freeze from near the shore. King High Lake, the largest inland and saltwater lake in China, hosts a large number of precious wild animals. With the advent of winter, this place becomes desolate without mercy. The scarcity of food puts all animals here into a severe crisis. Grassroots underground are the only food source for plateau picas. Every day, they consume food that equals about half their weight. To eat their fill, they must not stop digging. As busy as picas are, these snow finches, they'd never miss any grass seed there. On the plateau grasslands, everyone is bustling about to fill the belly. Unlike the blindly foraging herbivores, Przewalski's gazelles know exactly what they want. In winter, they migrate from semi-desert steppes to the rim of King High Lake. The purpose is not just for water sources and food, but also for the reproduction of the entire group. The lake shore is about to witness the annual blind date party. While filling the stomach, these wandering herbivores are locked on by predators as walking granaries. In addition to scanning in the air, birds of prey prefer waiting, saving their energy. In the lake area, almost all carnivores run around to find prey for the winter. Compared to these busy creatures, the whooper swans seem at leisure. They fly every year from Siberia and Bay and Bullock grassland in Xinjiang to spend winter at Qinghai Lake. Here, they elegantly perform the play of Swan Lake on Ice. As the temperature keeps dropping, ice extends towards the center of the lake. The freezing surface grows up to 90 centimeters thick. During the ice-bound season of about 100 days, the bitter cold pushes all living beings around to the edge of life and death. The power of life is manifested.